of course. David? Did something go wrong with Bianca's procedure today? David? Why are you here? Is this about me? I'm not here as a doctor. I'm here as your friend, Erica. And yours too, Bianca. And, and you're sure nothing's wrong? Everything happened today exactly as it was meant to. Well then, looks like you and I panicked for nothing. Well, that's certainly understandable, considering what you both have been through. Well, the worst is definitely behind us now. That's right. And there's no reason why you can't get back to life as normal. Or your version of normal. Well, normal sounds like heaven to me, frankly, David. Uh, may I get you something to drink? Yeah, that would be great. I'd love some water. Thanks. Okay, I'll uh, get some for all of us. Excuse me. So you didn't talk to your mother about the procedure this afternoon? No, I didn't, and I'm not going to. I, I think that that's the last thing that she needs to hear right now. Uh, Bianca, just so you remember, everything that happens at that clinic is privileged information. Thank you, David. Now, you know I adore your mother. But if you tell me it's none of her business, then it is none of her business. What's none of my business? Well... Erica, I'm going to take your daughter out to lunch next week, and you are not invited. Oh. Guess you're going to talk about me behind my back? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but we promise nothing bad. All good things. Okay, then. In that case, have a great time without me, if that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> David. Thank you. You're welcome. Seriously, I, I just want to tell you how grateful I am that you've remained close to Bianca. She really needs a man in her life. Uh, Mom, please. Oh, honey, you know what I mean. I mean that every girl needs a man in her life to look up to as a father. And, you know, with, with your dad gone and with Jackson obviously wasting way too much time on Greenlee, I'm really very happy that you've had David to, to lean on. Well, so am I. Well, look, before we break into a group hug here, um, <laughs> I don't want to forget why I came here. Um, I forgot to give these to you at the clinic. I want you to take these pills as indicated on the bottle. Oh, okay? wonderful. Uh, uh, an antibiotic to ward off post-operative infection. Should she take one now? Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, but make sure you eat something first, okay? Okay, that's... Thank you, David. Sure. David, I, I meant what I said about being very grateful that you have stayed in our lives. Yeah, well, the feeling's mutual. And who would have thought it after our stormy relationship that you would end up being my savior? Well, I wouldn't put me up for sainthood just yet. Um, there's another reason why I stopped by, Erica. My date book? Yeah. Where did, where did you find it? Aiden found it. Mom? David? David? You said Aiden found this address book of mine? Mm -hmm. Do you know where? Yeah. It was at Michael's place. Oh, God. No, look, I think we're okay. I got it. I mean, you have it now, so... Well, do, but do you think that Aiden would, would use it against me? I don't think so. He already went to Jackson. Jack knows about this? Yeah, yeah, and Jack doesn't want to know about it, so he gave you a free pass. What do you mean, he, he gave me a free pass? I mean, he had the opportunity to take it, and he chose not to. Oh. David, do you know what this means? Yeah, it probably means that Jackson knew that it was evidence. And it means that he's protecting me. And he's doing that because he still loves me. Erica. I, I have to go to him, Dave. No, 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 wait a minute. What are you talking about? You can't go to him. 
Look, d d this is much bigger than your love affair with Jackson. No, David, you just don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. Jackson is still the DA in this town, Erica. You go running to him, blabbing your mouth about what you know, what you've seen, you're going to put him in a hell of a spot. Now, look, Jack doesn't even know what happened to this book, okay? And I'd like to keep it that way. Okay. What should I do then? Should I, should I destroy the table? No, 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 that's, that's way too suspicious. Just, just fill in the entries on the days that it's been missing, okay? Make it look like you've been using it all along. Use different color inks, okay? So it doesn't look like you've been doing it at the same time. And whatever you do, please, Erica, do not go to see Jackson. At least for now. All right. I just hate being reminded of that night. I mean, there's this one page I'd love to tear out of here the night that uh, Michael Cambius went away. Oh, every time I think of it, it makes my blood run cold. Listen to me. You cannot panic. Now, believe it or not, soon, very soon, you're going to be able to forget all about this. Somehow I doubt that. That day is going to... I promise. And you have my word. I will not tell a living soul what happened that night. Thank you, David. I mean it, Erica. I will take your secret to the grave. I really should be going. David, please tell me one thing. You think that Bianca is going to make it, don't you? I mean, survive the, the rape and the pregnancy and now the terminating of it? Erica, you have amazing reserves of strength. Remember that. But Bianca... Bianca is your daughter. She's a fighter. And she's a survivor. And she will do things her way. The rest of the world be damned. And that is thanks to you. Even if you don't think I have my priorities straight? I never said that. Come here. Mm -hmm. I know you need reassurance and love. A hell of a lot more than you let on. Thank you. Really, thank you, David.